the math classes I'm taking are real analysis, differential equations, and then the last class is numerical analysis, and then I have a couple of other liberal arts. And they all seem pretty solid so far. I think numerical analysis is a little bit on the computer science side. It's kind of like, how do we approximate integrals and derivatives, or how do we approximate like non-exact functions, um, and how do, how do calculators like work to do that? Uh, so yeah, it seems like they're all quite cool classes. I love math professors because they're so, their syllabuses and stuff have so much less bullshit than other kinds of professors and fields usually. And a lot of them, what I love is they go off our like shitty third party. We use Brightspace at the University of Vermont, but I don't know. A lot of people have third party learning platforms and like you walk in there and they're just like, nah, I have my own website and it's just plain. It's an HTML document. And they also like provide all their own notes. The textbooks are usually very piratable. I'm, I'm not that I would do that because it's illegal, but actually, no, I do. I do that. I'll admit to it. And also, if you if you have any problems with that, right? The copyright system is very unethical. You should look into it. There's a great talk by Nina, I think Paley maybe is her last name, creator of Cita Sings the Blues, about why copyright screws people over and is actually not good for the original like creators of the intellectual property. It's just like a big bureaucratic system that keeps itself alive and it doesn't doesn't actually help the original people at all. So yeah, pirate everything. I don't believe in not pirating it. I think everything should just be free and copyright kind of sucks. So yeah, that's that's my two cents on that. But anyway, what was I talking about? Oh, the math classes, yeah. Their syllabuses are just so much better and it's so much simpler like their their grading structures are usually quite good there's one guy that even gives a bonus on latex um if you do your homework in latex and i i had that class before and i asked can i or i had the professor before same policy and i asked can i use types and he was like no it's got to be latex and that's when i learned you just you use what you want to and the output is indistinguishable from latex I'm still going to get those bonus points, and I'm going to use types to do it. Hopefully he doesn't ever see this, but yeah, I don't think there's a high chance. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited about all the math. It's going to be good to go away from computer science for a while, just because I'm kind of sick of all the AI stuff and all the, I don't know, I'm, I'm a little tired of computer science. I guess AI is equally problematic for math, but it'll be nice to be typing up something that's... Uh, pretty abstract and useless, like types to math notes. I can put all my workflow focus into that instead of workflow focus into computer science. Because to be honest, I'm a workflow guy. Like that's, that's becoming what, I don't want to say my whole career is, but it's like a major hobby for me, you know, more than the actual programming is more or less, which is kind of bad, but I don't know who cares. The two uh, liberal arts classes I have, one of them is just a philosophy class, philosophical writing, and I'm taking that because my friend is taking it, but also I really like the professor, and that's, I think, a great way to take classes. You, you pick, if you, if you have a really good professor, take as many of their classes as you can because it's not always guaranteed, so that's going to be really good. And then the last one is called Race Talk, which I'm taking just because it satisfies a credit. We have this really dumb, like, core curriculum system that I think a lot of universities have adopted where there's all these different letters and symbols like we have diversity one diversity two literature one two ah humanities global studies I don't know there's like so many of these different like little badges you collect like it's some kind of video game they're like oh we've gamified everything it's so fun but it just sucks because it means everyone is now trying to complete their requirements and they're trying to do it as fast as possible so they end up taking like super crazy diverse maxing classes like ethics of native american dance as it applies to modern racial theory or something and it's like satisfying 10 different requirements and then no one's taking what they actually like they're just trying to play this little game the university has created and there's nothing wrong with like racial studies or anything i think the reason we have that class is because students protested in the past and like sure i mean it, that's fine. It's just like this whole gamified system is kind of ruining uh, liberal arts for a lot of people. So they should really they should really consider just making it like, okay, take a history class, take an English class, I don't know, take a philosophy or writing class, whatever. Just they should simplify it way down because the good old days of academia, you just 
you'd have to take some kind of liberal arts. There was no gamify to try to speed run this as fast as possible with maximum diversity and avoid anything you're remotely interested in. But yeah, my two cents. Another thing is, I believe in taking as many classes as you can, like maximizing your credits. I didn't do that this semester. I'm taking 15 or 16, I think, depending on what classes have labs, but I think maybe there's a math lab. Usually I would take 19. The only reason I'm not this semester is because of the internships, which I didn't have last year. And also I've heard some of these math classes are pretty brutal. Like real analysis specifically is supposed to be a very, very hard math class for math majors. So I thought I'd give myself slightly more leeway, but I've found in the past, I actually do worse when I have less credits. The only semester I took 13 credits, which is the minimum was last semester. And that's because I was developing the board game and I also was getting started with this channel and like uh, the internships and stuff. And I actually did the worst than I ever have in any semester. It, w it wasn't terrible. Like I think a B minus was the worst grade I got, but, or maybe a C, I don't, I don't really know, but I, I wasn't as focused. I feel like the more pressure you have on you, the more you can focus, at least for me, the more things like pulling at your attention, because then you have no choice but to lock in, you know, like people come to school and they're like, oh, I can't, I'd be so busy. I'll have no free time to do anything. Take like 13 credits. Then they have all this free time and they end up just scrolling Instagram reels in their dorm room, you know? And if you think of the imagery, you didn't come to do that. You came to like pour over books and old dusty libraries and stuff. You want like that hardcore academia feel. You don't want to be just slacking off and doing nothing. So that's why you should just absolutely dump the stuff on yourself. And that way, like you have no choice but to work hard. You know, there's no... Uh, should I work on my assignment or should I scroll? Should I go on YouTube or Twitter for a little bit? You get home and if you're doing a sport too like I do, it's like midnight and you need to get eight hours of sleep and you have 20 minutes to finish your, um, I don't know, CS theory class. You're, you're going to do the homework assignment. You have no other choice. There is no other time to do it. That's what I believe. That could also horribly backfire if uh, you're not that kind of person. But I feel like I'm someone who does better the more pressure I'm exposed to. Just, yeah, what I've found to work. I think kind of, yeah, I don't know. You're, you're not there to just, like, fuck around. The, the amount of money people pay to go to school, especially in the U.S., I know Europe is a lot better, but it's just, like, backbreaking. So just fucking around and, like, barely learning anything is kind of useless. And also... A lot of classes I've found are kind of nerfed from what they used to be because universities have become pretty much companies in terms of like driving profit, right? They have a board of directors and there's, I guess there's not investment directly, but it's like they, they try to keep their original trust up. So they do everything possible to be more profitable. And one of those things is making sure people don't drop out, right? Because if you drop out, you're no longer paying a massive amount of tuition, and so to do that, they've instructed all professors like, okay, you, you fail a lot of people and people hate being failed. That makes them drop out. So I'm going to have you grade a lot easier. And kind of over time, it slowly shifts to more and more lenient grading, more and more ridiculous, like empty void kind of classes of just nothingness and bloat talk. I don't know, like some, some of these multi-discipline requirement classes I was talking about earlier, just like basically you're learning nothing from this. And that's that's why I think you have to take so many credits because some of them will just straight up like not be how many credits they say they are. Like you take a class that says it's three credits of reading or whatever and it's like a half a credit just because it's so bullshittable and it's so meaningless. And it's, it's not that like I'm, I don't know, it, it, me bullshitting it is like the equivalent of someone trying their best just because if you have a little bit of background knowledge in any of these things, it's like just dead obvious what they're they're asking you. And there's no like right or wrong answer in a lot of English classes. And I'm not totally like trashing on the liberal arts. They're definitely good people on that side and like real work and real understanding to be had but there is a lot of like fluff and meaninglessness compared to at least something like math so yeah that's another another point of my philosophy everything is getting like a lot easier so take as much as you can to load up on it I guess it really depends on your school too my school is not particularly prestigious I don't think 
it's I don't know it's an all right school but yeah it's, it's not crazy for sure plus I have a lot of extracurricular learning going on anyway but yeah those are those are the classes I'm taking hopefully the audio is normalizable on this and uh, I'll catch you next time